the fourth-generation Jeep Grand Cherokee debuted in April 2009 at the New York Auto Show. Production began in May 2010 at the Jefferson North Assembly Plant in Detroit. Built on the second-generation Mercedes-Benz M-Class platform. Driving performance and handling SUV only one. Four transmissions at the same time, the car has not lost any of its cross-country ability, and four different types of transmissions are offered on the Grand. Initially, an SUV can be exclusively rear-wheel drive. The Quadratrack I all-wheel drive transmission includes a single-speed transfer case that distributes torque between the front and rear wheels in a 48-52 ratio. The differential lock is simulated by the electronic BTCS brake traction control system, which slows down the slipping wheels. The more sophisticated Quadratrack 2 transmission has an electronically controlled two-speed transfer case with the same BTCS system. The most sophisticated Quadradrive 2 transmission comes with a two-speed transfer case and three self-locking differentials. Cross-axle differentials ELSD, electronic limited slip differentials, act faster and are designed for higher loads. Engines. For the Jeep Grand Cherokee, several gasoline engines were provided, a 3.7-liter V6, 214 horsepower, a 4.7-liter V8, 242 horsepower, and a 5.7-liter Chrysler Hemi V8, 338 horsepower. In addition, a 3.0-liter Mercedes Turbo Diesel, 224 horsepower, is offered for the European market. The base gasoline V6 3.7-liter is extremely reliable. Before the overhaul, it is able to overcome 350,000 kilometers. True, on the first machines, generators quite often failed. The timing drive uses a chain that can withstand at best 120,000 kilometers. The driving style directly affects the duration of its work. Sharp starts from traffic lights and braking to the floor drastically reduce the life of the chain, the replacement of which, together with tensioners and dampers, will cost a pretty penny. The crankcase ventilation system periodically clogs due to a stuck check valve. These shortcomings are also characteristic of other gasoline units, among which the most powerful. 6.1 liter V8, installed on the charged version of the SRT8, is presented in a winning light. On the 4.7 liter G8, the electronic engine control unit is often buggy, periodically requiring a flashing. Its failures lead to rapid wear of the ignition coils. The exhaust manifold studs are broken. The work of replacing them is expensive and painstaking. The Hemi series engine is equipped with the MDS multi displacement system. system which disables half of the cylinders under moderate load. In order for this system to work properly, it is necessary to fill the engine with oil with an index of 5W20, then the valve clearance hydraulic compensators, which are also MDS control valves, will not fail. The Mercedes OM642 turbo diesel has also proven itself well, however, due to the growing soot on the intake manifold flaps, the electric motor that leads it dies over time. But often the matter does not end there, plastic axles of these dampers break. Then you have to change the entire manifold assembly. But the rest of the diesel is quite reliable. Even consumables such as glow plugs can withstand 100 to 130,000 kilometers, but if they break, they must be changed immediately, otherwise the control unit will quickly fail. Transmission. Only five-speed automatics were installed on the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and they were different. The Chrysler 5-45 RFE box works in tandem with the petrol V8 and the Mercedes 722.6 series with the rest. Their resource is the same, about 250,000 kilometers, but the shortcomings are different. On the American one, the control unit is often buggy, however, it lends itself well to flashing. In German, oil traditionally leaks through the control unit connector. The block of hydraulic valves fails. The base four-wheel drive transmission of the Quadratrack I is reliable, but on the Quadratrack II with electronic differential locks, the transfer case mode shift servo is capricious. By 150 to 180,000 kilometers, it will be necessary to change the seals, bearings, and the stretch chain of the handout. Suspension. In an independent front suspension, bushings and stabilizer struts are considered consumables. Every two or three years, you will have to change the shock absorbers and wheel bearings. The upper and lower ball bearings hold up to about 120,000 kilometers. True, the rear ones are assembled with levers and are not cheap. In steering, the tie rods require attention more often than the others, and the rail itself begins to flow after 100,000 kilometers. The rear dependent suspension with a rigid beam axle is quite strong, 
it will require attention only closer to 120,000 kilometers, but the cost of a global replacement will be quite expensive. 